Hi and welcome. In this lecture we're going to create our first application for the iPhone. This will be our simple Hello World application. So first off we need to start up Xcode. And then we need to create a new Xcode project. And make sure that's a single view application under the application tab in the header iOS. Then click next. Give it a name of hello world. The com identifier is just my company followed by my name. So you can just put your name. Class prefix, we can leave that blank. We want it specifically for the iPhone. And we want storyboards and use automatic reference counting both on and include unit tests off. Then hit next. Choose a location to save it. Click create. Make sure this is unchecked as well. We don't want any source control at the minute. Once this is created, you'll have your project here on the left in the navigation tab. If not, then you can click this button here to bring out the navigation tab. On your right, you'll have your inspector. Here with your library files. So, to get started, let's open up here in the navigation bar the main storyboard dot storyboard this will give you a view that looks similar to an iPhone view and this is the base of all of our work so to start off with we're just going to create a very simple application which displays the text hello world onto an iPhone display but first off let's just run the sim simulator and see what happens so make sure that this up here is checked on iPhone 5.1 simulator and then hit the button run. This will compile the project and load it in the iPhone simulator. So here we have the iPhone simulator with our blank screen and as you can see that's all that's there and it shows exactly that. So let's go and stop that and let's get started. For this lecture you won't need any coding, we're just going to simply drag out a label and put some text in it and then run the application again and see what it looks like. So if we scroll down to label and we drag this out and just drop it on the view anywhere and we can change the text to hello world and then I'll increase the size and change it to bold to make it a little bit more readable and change the size of this text box to span out the whole width of the view. You see these blue lines as well? They're provided as a standard width and margin indicator provided by the SDK itself. These are kind of like just guidelines that you don't want to go much further past these blue lines otherwise your application may spill off the screen. But let's use these guidelines to get central vertically and horizontally and then let's align our text in the center and then let's run the program again so this time when we run in our iPhone simulator we get the words hello world in the center of the screen and that's what we wanted to do for this first program we just wanted to get used to using the navigation window the library files dragging and dropping into the view itself onto our stage. This here is the stage where our view is. And then simply changing some of the text and aligning it, getting used to the guidelines and other parts of the app. We'll also show you the the information. This is where all the information about your app is, so the device, what can, what um, version it's targeted at, the storyboard that will start at, the build, the version, the name, and the app icons, launch images, all the frameworks and kits that we're including and we'll go much 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 further into detail through all of this and these two files here control the view controller but we're not going to be using them for this lecture it's simply just dragging out a label changing the text running this app on the iPhone simulator and that's it so that's the end of this lecture, and in the next lecture, we will do some coding and get down to some practices. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next lecture.